Global Demand has Sandia National Laboratories and its partners looking for better energy technologies. Make it universal to where it, it uh, works with various different manufacturers. Right. Power electronic systems are in virtually every electronic device. And at the heart of every system is a module that contains a semiconductor power switch. For most systems, including those used with solar arrays and hybrid electric vehicle motors, electrical energy originates in one form, often DC, and must be converted and output in another form, often AC. The power switch performs that function. This process, by its nature, creates heat, but too much heat can destroy a switch. To meet the demand for smaller, lighter electronics, researchers are focusing on materials that can endure higher temperatures and systems that operate more efficiently. Now, a new high-temperature power module has hit the commercial market. Developed by Sandia, Arkansas Power Electronics International, the University of Arkansas, and Rome Company Limited, the product is based on silicon carbide power switches with high-temperature capabilities. With innovative packaging, the module also integrates power and control circuitry into a single unit for better efficiency and substantial size, weight, and cost reductions. The performance increases that you get are not incremental. They're, they're revolutionary steps. Decreasing energy losses by more than 50%, uh, decreasing system size and weights by an order of magnitude. Uh, those types of effects, are, uh, our results, are uh, basically revolutionary. Th there's uh, two very large aspects to this. Uh, one is the silicon carbide power switch itself, uh, which uh, has required years of research to get it to, to the point that it is today. Um, the second is in order to use all of the uh, functionality and capabilities and characteristics of the silicon carbide power switch, uh, you have to develop the packaging and all the materials that go around it. The switch is the one that drives the overall performance of the uh, power converter. The faster you switch, there's less uh, filtering, smaller size, and the better bandwidth you have. So if there's any issues on the um, electric utility side or on the source side, you can detect and respond to that much faster. And the switch also drives the, uh, the footprint. The um, faster you switch, the smaller it is, and, uh, and it's a much better performing converter. We have here two modules, uh, and they're not in the completed state. Uh, the clear module here with the translucent housing is a demonstration display model so that when you lit it, you can see into the module. That's not the actual high temperature plastic. Um, the, the module with the plastic housing, that's the actual high temperature housing. Rome is one of the largest manufacturers of electronics components in Asia and is the licensing agent for these modules. Rome's interest, uh, they have partnerships with uh, electric vehicle manufacturers and so from a commercial standpoint, the target, the initial target for the power module is the hybrid electric vehicle. Um, and beyond that, um, we're working on uh, energy, renewable energy applications, such as for uh, photovoltaics. Rome has received a lot of interest with a video that shows the power module working within a complete system and operating at 250 degrees Celsius. the wire bonds. The project has also had support from the Department of Energy and the state of Arkansas. Now at Sandia there's a focus on future applications for the module including use with wind and geothermal energy systems. It's taken a lot of teamwork to get from an idea to the marketplace. And so you add up all those engineers and that's a lot of man hours. I don't have the numbers right off the top of my head. <laughs> a lot of good work though. A lot of good work with the uh, it's phenomenal the uh, amount of hours that was put in this to, to develop a product like this. 
And you have to remember, we basically started from scratch. We started right. from a concept only. Right. And we've developed, it's taken the past five years or so right. to get it to a product stage. 